guys this is stephanie welcome to designs by stephanie for those of you who are here for the very first time welcome and for those of you returning welcome back if you have not been here before i would love to have you as part of the dds family just click on that subscribe button below as well as the notification bell beside that be sure to click that all when you click on that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos in the near future today i'm doing another studio vlog i did some stuff earlier but i didn't tape it i just didn't feel like turning the camera on so i don't know how long this this day vlog is going to be a day in the life I'm calling it a studio vlog but i guess it's day in the life but it's nighttime again so yeah and i'm tired so what I am going to do, I got some new stuff today. Maybe I'll put together my, what is that thing? I, I did it in another haul, my little shelf that I'm going to use, my trolley. I don't know what you call it. I got it from Ikea. I haven't put it together yet. It's still sitting there on the floor, so maybe I need to put that together. And I got some new inventory in, not inventory, but paper that I got in for my print. So guess I need to open that up so yeah I can do that and I need to order some more sticker paper but I haven't ordered any of that yet because I'm running low on my sticker paper I only have a little bit left I'm still trying to get my office organized so I'm still not ready to show that I still have missed every single wear in in here so I, I'm about, let me open my stuff and let you guys see what I got okay let's open up this box for my postcards not postcards for my Christmas cards so I got the Epson premium photo paper glossy it's for the inkjet it's this and they're five by seven it's 20 sheets let me let you guys see what they look like Cause I haven't used this. I had the HP, but since I got an Epson printer, they had a good gloss to them. And then the back, I don't know what's on the back of them. The HP ones, the back of them have, no, they're not HP, they Kodak. The Kodak ones have the Kodak on the back of it. And then they're not five by seven. They're four by six, I believe. And I wanted four, five by seven. So I got these. Let me see what the quality feels like. Oh, it's not bad. It's glossy on this side, a smooth gloss. And on this side, it's just regular, like, cardboard paper, which is good. Because I prefer with the blank on the back instead of the ones that HP, they're like an actual photo paper. And then they have that stuff on it. So you can't put anything but on one side of it. And I prefer, like, if you're doing postcards, you have one side that's shiny. And then on this side, you can put or you can write your notes and stuff so that's why i switched to these because i think they would be much better but oh wait a minute these might have something on them they do oh so this one don't have nothing on it but these do they have epson on them too shoot so i was wrong they got epson on the back i don't know if you can see that it washes out but it's really glossy so this is just a cardboard paper not bad. So it's glossy too. Just like that. Well maybe the other sheets aren't and I can cut them. But still these are good for prints. Because I'm going to start selling the prints on my shop. So I have that. And it comes with a little storage sheet to store the in. Which that's good. So let me go on and put them in there now. So that I have them in there. And so I guess instead of keeping them in. If you don't want to keep them in the box. You can put them in that bag. So that's cool. So that's that. And I also got the premium presentation paper mat. Um, for the same thing, the print prints on. For some, that's, those are for glossy and these are for the mat. If one of them are matte. So, because again, Epson printer, I wanted to buy the Epson paper to see if there was a difference in the quality from what I had. Because I think the one that I had... Well, I got two different brands, but I think one of them is HP. No, it's, it's Hammer Mill. One of them is Hammer Mill. And the weight on this is... It ain't that thick. 
It says, oh, 44 pound, 165 GM twos, nine milliliter. It's not that thick. I think the oven may be thicker. Yeah, it is. This is much thicker. This is uh, 80 pounds, so it's double. So these are 80 pounds. This is 40 pounds. And this is much, much thicker. Much, much thicker. But this would be good too, because I'm going to make some. Oops, stuck to it. I'm going to use them for my print and also for other things as well. So that is that for that. And my last thing that I got. I got stuff from somebody I got to do a video for. It's not related to my Etsy store or anything. So, um, I had to get, I broke my, my, um, my stand to hold my phone. I broke it, it won't stay on there. So I had to get another one so that I can, uh, video. So I got another one of these, but I got a better one this time because that one's plastic and I think that's why I broke it cracks. Like if I unscrew it and screw it on another tripod, because sometimes I want it on my big tripod and sometimes I want it on that one and it, and it broke. It just spins. So the phone, when you put it on there, it won't, the, the um, screw is stripped or it cracked, it actually cracked around. So I bought this. I saw this and it was metal. That's why I bought it. It was made of metal and I'm gonna screw it. It said it'll take the wide. I have a a plus, so it's hard to find something that it fits in between with the case still on it, and I don't want to be taking the case off every freaking time I use it. So this looks like a little robot fan. Rock 'em sock 'em robot, that's what it looked like love it and i got this because it has the little spot like if you want to put a microphone or something on top of it you can add it where's my phone okay i'm gonna screw it some more and see how far but all of it's metal even the inner lockings of it everything is metal and it comes out really far which is was my selling point for it and that it was metal and it folds up flat so if you're traveling oh yeah it fits in there really good and it's wide the gap in between it so if you got a thick case on there it holds it it's called i'll link it on my amazon link but as you can see like on the back you can add the, uh, the lighter or something up there the light they got a light and a microphone on it I got the phone in there, but like I said, I got the iPhone Plus, so it's big, but you don't have to worry. Like, that clamps down, and it comes loose, but this one, you, you know, you can screw it and tighten it, which is what I needed, and it'll hold it in there. Well, I don't see the little clip for that. Oh, it slides in there. The little, when you put something on there, it's in that slide. And then you screw it onto your tripod with this little screw here. I hope that fits. Let's see. New gear. Uh-oh. And I love this Joby. It's one of the best ones they sit on the market. When I first got it, I've had it for a couple of years, maybe three. Haven't had any trouble out of it. I, I, I got a lot of tripod stands. Mostly the tall ones, but I only have two of these, three of these small ones, but one is really, really flimsy and cheap. It's for something really lightweight, but this is one of those good ones. But I use my phone sometimes to record as well as my iPad, so I like to have something that I can put them on, and I have a thing for my iPad as well. But it's not metal like this, and I don't think this won't open up wide enough. But if they have one for the iPad, I would actually like this because I have to take my iPad out of the case to use it. And I don't think I would if I had one of these because of the lockdown. I really, really like this. It's called Ulanzi, U-L-A-N-Z-I, ST-3. So check it out. I'll leave the link in the description box below if you're interested. 
And yeah, love it. Love it, love it. So I got that. Really needed it. It helped me with my film. Especially on my other channel. But I use this on this. Like the videos that I take yesterday. Because every time I do a screen print and have my camera running at the same time, it freezes my computer. So I can't do both. Where I do mirror my screen and tape as I do stuff. So I have to do one or the other. So I probably could have done that and taped myself with the camera. But I didn't. My computer overheats because my computer is very old and I need a new one and it's almost out of space, which is why it keeps overheating. And I move stuff to the cloud, but it's still it's too much. I guess I need to buy more cloud space. It's almost full, but I think I'm gonna get a new computer during tax season. Anywho, got that. And the other thing I got was the premium matte inkjet paper. It is the Finestra Art brand. And this is 8x10. The other one was 5x7. And this one was 8x10. And I'll link all of this stuff in the description box below. But again, they're all for prints and postcards that I'm going to be selling in my shop. Christmas postcards. And I need to get them up. But I needed to get the paper to print them on. Because the paper that I had, I printed it. And I didn't like it. So, I needed to get new paper. And I did I read a lot of reviews and they had they were using this paper. So I want an Amazon gift card. Follow us on Instagram and enter one of your photo in you know, our photo contest. Oh I do that. We're gonna eject the paper. So comes like this. That's what it looks like in the box. And this is one hundred sheets. I guess they got the yellow paper in between 50 sheets. Printable side. To avoid paper fee issues, make sure your printer is set to thicker paper if necessary. For settings and additional information, please. Okay. Well, let's feel the quality of this. Because I've only gone by word of mouth. But hopefully, it is nice. It's thicker. I don't know if it's, let me compare it with the Epson. The Epson I think was cheaper. No, the Epson is thinner. <clears throat> this is as thick as the Hammer Mill filter. But it doesn't look as bright. Yeah, the Hammer Mill looks brighter. I don't know if you can tell that on camera. And the hammer mill is bigger. How is this the hammer mill? I thought it was 8 and a half by 11. Too. Yeah, it says 8 and a half by 11. Well, what size is this? Why is it small? Oh, is it, it is. It's 8 by 10. Wow, okay. That's different. 8 by 10. So you can put two on there, 4 by 5. Or you can do a Christmas card this way and fold it. I don't know, that might be too big. I just got a Christmas card in the middle today. I mean a Thanksgiving card. But, I'm mm, gonna do that and then cut it out. Cause I'm gonna have my machine cut mine out. I'm not gonna be doing no manual cutting of nothing. I think that's crazy. But I think these are more so eight and a half by 11. Yeah. You fold it down in half and then just cut the card part up if you're going to do a folded card or you can buy the cards that's already folded then you don't have to manually fold them but you can buy that thing to put the crease down the center of it so that it's creased properly and now I'm going to back from the front it feels a little bit different so you need to leave this sheet in here so you know the printable side from the non-printable side so now I got uh, several packs of paper. One that's an uh, actual portrait, portrait paper, and then the other that are more like cardstock, cardstock presentation paper, but it should print better. So I'm going to print on them. Oh, I'm not going go there. That's Epson. I'm going to print on them and see what I get. But that's pretty much all that I got today for my unboxing stuff I got in the mail. I already done my orders because I done them earlier when I got up and I didn't feel like 
getting dressed to do no video. Some days you just don't. Maybe I should just come on here in my PJs. Pretty much. But got new stickers. I put them up on my shop. I did my video yesterday to show you how I made these. So check them out. They're out there already. They're live. And that's it. I don't have much today because I'm tired. And I've already done anything and I didn't take. So that's pretty much the short day in the life for me today of what I ordered, what I got. I do have um, one other thing coming because I'm adding the My Intent bracelets to my shop. And I have a video up here, up here, up there, somewhere. And I put that up there so you guys can see it but you know where you stamp the they have bracelets and necklaces and keychains i think is, is everything that i have in there but i'm about to add them to my shop but i had to buy the stamp to do them with but they had to build a hammer and i kept doing it, i kept hitting my hand and i just couldn't do that so i got the stamp that you put these little things in and you just push it down and it stamps it on there for you with the pressure instead of manually having to nail it because my hand is just not that steady and I just don't want to be damaging my hand and if I get a bunch of those orders I don't want to be manually doing it so I put them up a while ago on the video but it has taken me forever because the stamp was out of stock they had the I'm looking for the cards I'm always going into a tangent from one thing to the next, but oh well, that's my brain process. Here we go. No, that's not it. Where's my card? It's on this junky desk somewhere. I don't know what I did with it. I thought that was them right there. They land on this desk somewhere. They got a whole bunch of paper here because I was doing some real estate stuff. But anyway. They have the cards that you put the bracelet on and they only put a little bit in there. So I had to go in and mock up some to add so I can have them because I'm trying to get everything up for Christmas by next week before Black Friday so that I can start and do a Black Friday sale on my shop and then start with the Christmas holiday selling things. So comment below and let me know if you are ready for the holidays with your shop have you gotten all your inventory done everything stocked up because that's everything that i've been trying to do stock up on my inventory and get some stuff pre-made not a whole lot of stuff because i don't like to pre-make a whole bunch of stuff i like stickers and stuff stuff that i know that you know won't be any variations again i try to make up some of those i made up some freebies so i have them already ready and ready to go out I need to just put them in the baggies and put the stickers on them so that I can include them in whatever it is I ship. I need to order some more sticker paper. And that's about it, I think. And then I'll be ready. I got a few more things I need to add to my shop. I said I was just going to just add stuff daily like t-shirts because my t-shirts. And I got to design them and take the, put the photos up and stuff. But I don't have to... You know make those so well some of them i have to make some of them i don't but we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see so anyway i know this video was kind of random but hey that's what it is every day ain't you know a productive day well it was productive earlier i just didn't take it tape it so anywho okay that is it guys thank you all for watching please like comment and subscribe if you have any questions comment below and i will be sure to answer them Everything that I showed, I will link as well in the description box below. So you go there and, and check out the links if you want to look at anything. It'll be my uh, Amazon affiliate link. So it doesn't cost you anything. Just if you purchase anything, then I get a very, very small commission. So I just want to make you guys aware of that. But anyway, thank you guys for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video and I look forward to seeing you all in my very next video tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.